Hi, my name is Sachin Alex and I'm part of the technical marketing team at VMware. In this video, we will see how views are useful in representing the collected data and how we can create and modify views. A view presents collected information for an object in a certain way depending on the view type. Each type of view helps you to interpret metrics, properties, policies of various monitored objects including alerts, symptoms and so on from a different perspective. The type of views available to us are list, summary, trend, distribution, text and image. Each of these views can be viewed in a dashboard and report. They can also be viewed as its own content in the visualize tab of the ARIA operations interface. We will now create a fresh view which will consist a list of VMs with their metrics and properties displayed. We would need to specify the name and an appropriate description. The data definition process includes adding properties, metrics, policies, or data that adapters provide to a view. These are items by which VMware ARIA operations collects, calculates, and presents the information for the view. The subject in this case would be virtual machines for which we will be displaying the data. Here, we will be adding the following properties. Parent cluster details, parent host details, and data store details. We will also be adding a few VM metrics. Number of vCPUs and memory allocated to the VM. We use the time settings to select the time interval of data transformation. These options are available for all view types except image. The filter option allows you to add additional criteria when the view displays too much information. In this case, we leave it as it is. In the summary configuration panel, you select the aggregation method and what data to include or exclude from the calculations. In our case, we will use sum to display the aggregation for number of vCPU and memory count. This is how the final view will look like. We can select the preview source. In our case, we select the entire vSphere world. Now, we will be creating a view to see the vCPU count for the hosts in the vSphere world. We will be using the distribution view. As is required, we will be naming and describing the view for easy identification. The view options available to us include pie chart, bar chart, and donut chart. We will be selecting the bar chart. We have the option to select colors. To provide a more detailed data set, we select the discrete distribution. Since we are creating the view for hosts in the vSphere world, we will be selecting our subject as host systems. And the metric under consideration would be number of vCPUs. In the preview section, we can see how the view would look. We can change the metric label to suit our needs. We will keep the time setting as is and not apply any filter. Here, you can see the view that we created. Now, we shall use the created view in a dashboard. Dashboards can consist of widgets or views. To identify our dashboard, it's necessary to name them appropriately. We have used a SACH prefix to identify ours. Now, we'll drag and drop a common widget, which is the object list. To use the widget, we need to edit its properties. Rename the widget to the action that needs to be performed. Since this is the starting point, we would have to turn on the self provider. As this is the widget to select the right vCenter, in the output filter, we select the vSphere world and then save this. Now, we will drag and drop in the list view.
we will edit the name to the action it performs. We only have to edit the output data so that the view that we created reflects properly. Select the right view and then save the changes. If interactions are configured between widgets at the dashboard level, you can then select one or more objects in the providing widget to filter the data that appears in the receiving widget, allowing you to focus on data related to an object. Now, upon selection of the required vCenter, the view created gets populated. Now, we shall use the same view that we created to generate a report. Similar to dashboards, we have to provide a name and description for the report. In the views and dashboards option, we select the view that we created. We will be creating both PDF and Excel copies for the report. We can add cover page, table of contents and footer to the report. We save these changes. We now run the report. We will have to select the object for which we need this report. We will be selecting this particular vCenter. In the Generated Reports tab, we have the option to download the PDF or the Excel copies of the report. In the PDF copy, we see the report that we generated. In conclusion, what we've seen in this video is how we can use views in representing data, how to create these views, how to use these views in dashboards, and creating reports from views.